de koba la bante i je de 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 ma baba le berembre ke bebento i kota li ke peruga bante membri membri a kote literiti ma bala bara baba da bala ta rebe de berebe be de bereto embre ke de de ba ezo do do bereba create the atmosphere for yourself ma baba le tu jada Membre ke re de de manto, re de 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 de, re de 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 de, embre ke re de manto, isuzi ata, membre te suzi melakota, araba bala bara bala, embre ku re de 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 de, re de 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 de, create the atmosphere for yourself. Oh God. Ha pa te kiri te baka baliata, membre soko loko to boroko to koto, ire be de be de be de be de be, ramba bala brenda baba te, zede de 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 Ira ba 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 le perembo ko ba ba ti. Zedo do 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 do. Ete te re te ke te. Ambre ke pe re timba. Le be be le to. Re be 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 be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Yes, you are doing a good job with your prayers. I'm perceiving in my spirit that we are gradually creating the atmosphere. I want us to go one more round as we steer the, the waters in the spirit so that we can make this atmosphere conducive for the word of the Lord. Can you pray again and say, Father, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I don't want to miss out on your instructions. Help me, help me, help me. In the name of Jesus, Reda Mante Zora Baska Menenakote Leveledoska Membre Te Zekete Barabanata Ire Bebele Bere 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 Ekete kete rekete ba, erreke de bante, o palete ba, zede de 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 de, lebren de ke bere de ba, ha pa palete bere de, rebe bere de la bante, jaba la ba la ba la ba, rebe bere de bere. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can we have our seat? This teaching will not necessarily be long. Okay, let me say it may not be long because I don't know. Because of meditation. I want you to open up your spirit to receive what the Lord wants to give so that you will not miss out. I pray you will not miss out in Jesus' name. The Lord will be teaching us on a topic that says the tree of life and death. The tree of what? The tree of life and death. Amen. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to what? And to what? And to keep it. So from here we know that the reason the Lord God took the man and placed him in the garden of Eden is to what? 
is to first dress it and to what? And to keep it. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that man is created in the likeness and what? In the image of God. What that means is that because we are created in the likeness of God, it therefore means that there are certain things that God can do that we will naturally be able to do. God is creative. That is why man can be creative. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm? Anytime you see man inventing things, creating things, is a sign that man is created in the likeness of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? So God now placed man. You can put yourself in the picture. God placed you into the Garden of Eden and he gave you two functions. Number one, to what? To dress it. Number two, to what? To keep it. What does it mean to dress it? Another word for dress it is to make it. To what? To make it. I, 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 I don't know the make it you are seeing, but I'm sure it's not the one. That one that first came to your mind is not the one I'm talking about. Praise God. To make it. What did I say? What are you hearing? When I said to make it, what did you hear? I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. Do you know I can be saying something and you are hearing another thing? For instance, now when I say to dress it means to make it. Somebody pictured money. That means if you have seen money and you are seen in the context of making it, you are not hearing what I'm saying. Are you getting what I'm saying? God is a maker. Are you there? So, because man is created in the likeness of God, man is also a maker. Are you there? So, the responsibility of you dressing your life is given to you. You have the responsibility to make yourself into who you become. Are you there? So, in fulfilling this responsibility, you may now choose to partner with God and you may choose to partner with the devil. Are you there? So the kind of image you make out of your life is proportional to the person you are partnering with. Are you there? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, you listen to it, I'm telling you. Praise God. Are you getting what I'm saying? So we are created in the what? In the likeness of who? Of God, so God is a maker. We are also a what? That's why the first responsibility, the first responsibility of Adam is to dress the garden, meaning to make it into what he desires. Let me give you an example. Let me ask you this question: In heaven, it was fixed that somebody will betray Jesus, but was the name of Judah there? I see. We have the responsibility to make ourselves into image. Are you there? So it now depends on who you partner with. Who you partner with in the process of making yourself is what will define who you will end up looking like. Are you there? Do you know that Coming to fellowship today is a proof that you are dressing something. Do you know that? You are dressing something. You are making, you are trying to make something out of your life. And that's the first responsibility of what? Of man. Dress the garden. Praise the Lord. The second responsibility of man is to what? To keep the garden. Now the garden there means life. So you are to dress your life and you also have the responsibility to what? To keep your life. When I say keep, please don't hear another thing. Not in the aspect of trying to be selfish. No. Are you there? Keep there means guard. Guarding your heart with all diligence. Are you there? So how to keep your life in this context is to guard your heart with all diligence. 
So a man that is guarding his heart with all diligence in this context is doing what? Is keeping what? His life. Are you getting what I'm saying? All right, let's move on. Let's move to verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man. Praise the Lord. And the Lord God what? Commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, thou mayest what? Eat freely. Praise the Lord. Now God told them, I know majority of you, you are familiar with this story. It's a very common story. But I can assure you by the Spirit of God that you will learn something new today. He said, of every tree you can freely eat. But there's just what? A tree. You should not eat. Verse 17. But of the tree of what? The knowledge of good and what? And evil. Thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt what? Surely what? Die. Ha. The tree of what? Of life and what? And death. We have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And we have the tree of what? Of life. Which one should you eat from? The tree of what? Listen to me. What Adam ate is not fruit. Are you there? If it is fruit, then eating fruit now will be a sin. Because you don't even know the type of fruit he ate. So you should be careful. You love mango. Maybe it's mango. You don't know. And for those of you that love apple, you don't even know if it is apple. Many people believe that they hate apple. It's not apple. It's not apple. Are you there? Hi. What they ate is knowledge, not fruit. Are you there? That's why the Bible says the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the tree of life means the tree of the knowledge of life. Are you getting what I'm saying? The tree of life means what? The tree of the knowledge of life. Now, meaning that God is so specific about the kind of knowledge we should have. We are to have the knowledge of what? Of what? Of life. Not the knowledge of what? Good. Many of the things Adam knew about God came as a result of the knowledge he acquired from the garden. Let me tell you something. When God brought Adam to the garden, Adam had a deficiency. Are you there? And that deficiency Adam had was that there was a knowledge gap. He's just a man formed from dust. So the knowledge is empty. Are you there? So God now placed knowledge in form of trees in the garden. So there's a tree that Adam will eat from and the knowledge of Yahweh will come. Oh God is Yahweh. There's a tree we eat from and we and we have this knowledge of the rules of Shah. Are you there? There's a tree we eat from and the knowledge of Adonai will down on him. So God was using that those trees to fill in the knowledge gap. Are you getting what I'm saying? So what is the tree of good and evil? The tree of good and evil is the tree of corrupt knowledge. There are two types of knowledge. There's a corrupt knowledge and what? There's an incorrupt knowledge. Are you there? The tree of good and evil is what? Now let me let me tell you the implication. I will, I will tell you that. So you will now know that it's possible that you are even seated here 
and you are you are eating of that tree. You don't you may not know, but by the end of this teaching, you will know your place. The tree of good and evil is the tree of what corrupts knowledge. Am I right? The tree of life is the tree of what? Incorrupt what? Knowledge. The reason a man can do good today and the same man will be seen doing evil tomorrow is because the knowledge of that man is corrupt. Are you there? Eating from the tree of life is the same thing as eating from the tree of good only. Are you getting what I'm saying? I just hope this thing is not too high. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when you eat from the knowledge from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will do something good, but you will not be able to maintain that behavior. Have you seen people like that before? They can do good today and do evil tomorrow. Huh? It means that they have a knowledge that is what? That is corrupt. Meanwhile, the pure knowledge empowers you to do good only. But the impure knowledge empowers you to do what? Good and evil. Have you not seen men that divorce their wife after five children? Huh? Everybody is laughing. Okay, it's not true. It's not true. Huh? You have seen four. Okay, let's let's begin to share experience. Somebody has seen four, yes? Tell us what you have seen. Huh? You have seen? Yep. You have seen one. Two. Okay. You have seen seven. Four. Hello? I was told something yesterday from a reliable source. A woman gave birth to... I want to show you the, the issues of eating, the problems you will face when you eat from the tree of good and evil. You will do good, but you will not be able to maintain it. You will be mixing it. You will be good today, bad tomorrow, good today. A woman gave birth to eight children. How many children? And after the eight children, he now discovered that she just discovered. Are you there? She what? She disco- it's a discovery. <laughs> she now discovered that the man she married was not the right man. So, not seven, no. I said eight. So, uh, <laughs> on the strength of that revelation, which she had, Meanwhile, the husband is a farmer. He will go to the farm and come maybe once in a week. During the weekend, just bring food and money. He now packed from the house. He left the children with the man. She left the children with the man and went to remarry. Praise God. Praise God. She went to what? Now the children are there. No care. The man will just, the man just, what the man does is to bring food to the house. Just bring food on weekends. Their daughter now has become, some of them, prostitute. They told me out that one of them is just committing abortion anyhow. No parental care. The mother discovered, after giving birth to eight children, that the man was not the right man. She just got fed up of the marriage. What is responsible for that decision? A corrupt what? Eh? The kind of knowledge you have will affect the kind of decision you make. Are you getting what I'm saying? The kind of knowledge you have will affect what? The kind of decision you make. Let me shock you. Let me, have you, have you discussed with your friends before and you were asking them, 
Do you want Jesus to come now? They say, ah, no, 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 I want Jesus to come, but not now. I want to marry first. Have you heard something like that before? Yes. Possibly you said it, you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So you find out those who that said it. Are you bold enough to tell us you are the one? Okay, don't, don't, don't tell us because what I want to say next you. <laughs> I have discovered that anytime people try to ask God to wait a bit so that they can get married, someone can even say, Lord, even if it is after a month of my marriage, go <laughs> They are trying to postpone the coming of the Lord to get married for a carnal reason. Suspense is that that I love it. <laughs> Only God knows what Tolu is teaching. But I know she's a teacher. Praise the Lord. Do you know that 92% of people want to marry because of sex? Dr. Dikyo Lukoya said she met a woman abroad and the woman said, Sir, I'm a virgin. I just want to get married. I don't want to be a virgin again. There were 10 virgins in the Bible. Out of the virgins, they still separate five who are wise and another five who are foolish. If your pride, by the grace of God, I'm one of those people that kept themselves. I'm, I'm working with God in purity. Are you there? So I'm not trying to discourage. Eh? Are you there? But if your pride, if the only pride you have is on the fact that you are a virgin, you are carnal. At the end of the day, you may still discover that they will rank you among the foolish. Because the five foolish were virgins. Hmm? You see a brother go to God and say, Father, I've kept myself. Oh, I can't worry anybody. He is what? Let me ask you now, everybody here wants to get married. Why do you want to marry? Okay, let's do something. You will see you. We are going to do a we are going to do questioning now. You will you will hear things. Hello, I will give you one minute. Just speak in one minute. I'm not pointing, I will point to anybody as led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Stand, my friend, stand. Stand, stand, stand. We are going to use two brothers. Two sisters as a specimen. You will hear that. These people want to marry you. Now let's consider their reason. Teacher, stop. Um, <laughs> just so I stand. Please, if I have asked you to stand, hello, you don't need to think about it. Just stand. Tell us anything. Okay, stand. See the way she's dressed now with this mommy joke. We will hear. Stand. Hello. Speak audibly. Why do you want to marry? She said to the glory of God. Can you see deception? That's why. See, that's not the arrest <laughs> Why do you want to marry? <laughs> Even the reasons are funny to him. <laughs> ah, you see? The Lord will save us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number one. You love children. You think okay, you think you think it's normal? One. Everybody gets married. That's good. Wow. God's divine purpose. The first reason was that he thinks it's normal. My brother got married. <laughs> Note their reason. So 
Yes? Why do you want to marry? I want to marry because this God said man shall not be alone. Man shall not be alone. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to be obedient to the instruction. Can you say, see, when you see, when you see obedient sisters, you need to celebrate. Can you celebrate God in her life? Yes, why do you want to marry? Two reasons. Daddy got married, me too as well. I'm a son. I, I, I'm following the steps of my daddy, so me too as well. Marry. Yes, number two? To reproduce. Okay, to reproduce. Okay, thank you. Do you know that if you marry for the wrong reason, even when God brings his will to you, you will frustrate the person. You are likely to frustrate the will of God if you are marrying with the wrong reason. Don't marry because God says be fruitful and multiply. It's beyond giving birth to children. It's about making impact. Be fruitful and multiply means bless lives. Touch lives. Let's have thousands of people who can point to you that because of you, we came to God. That's, at the, that's the point where you are fruitful. You can give birth to eight children and still be barren spiritually. It's not about children. It's about impact. Don't marry because my daddy got married. That's the wrong reason. Are you there? Don't marry it because I feel it is normal to get married. Are you there? If you marry because you feel it is normal, the marriage can become abnormal. Are you there? If you marry because you feel it is normal, the marriage can become what? Abnormal. And this is why we are having issues today because we have a lot of people who are getting married and they are getting married for the wrong reasons. The reason for which you are getting married is what defines the foundation you lay in the marriage. That's why after 20 years, some people start, try, start trying to invite God to the marriage they are supposed to start with God. So it's, it's an unfortunate thing that everybody wants to get married, but not everybody knows the purpose for marriage. Are you there? The man with the greatest level of foolishness is the man that hates his wife because the wife has refused to give birth to maybe a male. I need a male, I need a male. Have you seen people like that for? I need a male, I need a male. First born, female, second born, female. Top. What? Am I a female? And because of that, some men will go out to marry and that, and God will now bless them. That's one outside too, first born, female. Are you there? Don't marry because you want to reproduce. The greatest level of reproduction is to reproduce the grace of God in your life, in the life of others. If I'm the teaching grace, let me reproduce it into your life. That's reproduction. Reproduction goes beyond a male and a female sleeping together. No. <laughs> if I have a grace and I can transfer it to you, maybe on the strength of our contact, our coming together, you begin to tap from the grace of God upon my life, I have reproduced. Such that, if I have the teaching grace, after a few years of our contact, maybe you are in Kaduna, you can duplicate the same thing I would have done if I'm there. That is reproduction. Not sex. Don't marry because you are getting old. I'm 28 now. Lord, what's happening? What's happening here? <laughs> Let me shock you. Don't even marry because the person is a Christian. Ah, 
people are surprised. Now, what is he saying? Now, official assert. No, God is not the author. That's the mistake many people make. Is he a Christian? Yes, I'll marry him. No. no. It's not about being a Christian. Ka. There are three types of will of God. There's the good will, there's the acceptable will, and there's the perfect will. Are you there? There's good will, uh huh. There's acceptable will, yes. And there's what? There's perfect will. What is good will? If you find a sister, maybe as a brother, you find a sister and you feel like she, hello, you feel like she has good character, just feel like, okay, she's a, maybe she's a Christian. That's a good will. And are you there? Because you are a Christian and you are not hoping to marry what? An unbeliever. That's good. Are you there? Please keep there. Are you with me? That's a good way. But it may not be acceptable. Because you may take the girl to your parents and they will ask, which ethnic group? And they say, ah, wait a minute, I'm going to join you. Okay. <laughs> they now call their son and say, what? Ijo, Kujo. Ah, Kujo. A good will may not be acceptable. Either. But you cannot find a Christian. Meanwhile, your parents love people from Abe Okuta. They just love the fact that they believe that Abe Okuta is Abe protection. The Okuta is for protection. <laughs> so I'm Abe Okuta. I'm Abe Okuta. <laughs> because of our lab protection. So, but <laughs> if I'm a Christian, good. From a Belkuta, acceptable. But that person does not align with his purpose. It's not perfect. Perfection is based on alignment to purpose. Are you there? Perfection is what? It's based on alignment to purpose. So it's not just about marrying a Christian. Are you there? See, come, let me tell you something. There's something God wants to build with your life. Are you there? There's a structure God wants to build with your marriage. Are you there? Find that structure before you find a partner. It is that structure that will tell you the kind of person you need. Otherwise, you will carry a high singing grace. And because you are Kana, your attention is a banker and a pilot. You now marry a rich pilot that will pilot you out of your singing ministry. My mother suffered. I will not marry a poor man. You will marry wrong with that nonsense. You will marry wrong. Because there are people today living in mansions. Yet, they are living with a monster. When you see their house, you admire it. But if you enter, you run. Men, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God. This thing I'm saying now is futuristic. Keep it in your spirit, beyond your daughter, and never forget Find what God wants to build with your life before you find a partner. 
otherwise. You will be lost but not found. Recently, a music minister died because of, the, because of violence. Many of you heard the news some, maybe some months ago. Why? Who she married? Are you there? You love the brother because he gives you things. But anytime you sing, the brother just frown. See, can you not sing? Just do another thing. Just, hey, I have singing grace. I know, but don't sing. Please, don't worry. I will allow you in marriage, but I don't want to allow you in courtship. <laughs> And you believe. Anything they don't allow in courtship, they will not allow in marriage. Let me quickly cancel our brothers. You see, don't rush into relationships. Are you there? Relationship is a body. Don't carry it when you are not mature. Your neck will break. Sorry, I don't do by the way. Matthew says, Glad they ought to share. You are young. Get of it to focus on God and follow God. You are busy with somebody saying, You did not call me. She's not even called. She's not called me. You say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And every day of your life, you keep saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you with me? Shall I, shall I, shall I tell you the truth? It's not, I'm not speaking by, I'm just, I want to give you a counsel as a, as a what? As a father now. Let me give you a counsel. Age is not what qualifies for marriage. Are you there? It's maturity, spiritual maturity that what? That qualifies for marriage. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. Do you know that marriage? Kai, 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 kai. I can speak well. You know, when I speak, people, people love me. I dress well. It's not enough. Do you know that marriage is for those that are mature? Let me give an example. Look at me. Do you know what marriage means? You want to pick a woman out of several beautiful women. You don't know what it means. You want to pick a man out of several other handsome men. And you'll be moving from one place to another. You you will even enter a bus and you will see one oh, ah, this for the man say, ah, thank you no one see that is a lewa. And the colour dress to was suit to the tie. Go talking real yeah. You are not saying it out in your mind. You have killed your husband in your mind. <laughs> and the husband will say, This is sister. Now look at how she just look at how she just dressed. Not my wife. In her mind. In his mind. Not my mind. Not my wife. Come dress carelessly. As if they did not do friendship. She just captured the woman and she married. <laughs> Love is not blind because God is love and God is not blind. Don't be deceived. If love is blind, it means God is blind. The Bible says God is love. So God cannot be what? Blind. Somebody spoke to our father rudely on phone and you were there. Talumpe, daddy, a pig corn, okay. Hello, daddy. Mr. Big Master, Mr. Big Master, Ruby, or a cinema. A garret, daddy, a garret, a garret. You were there, and you are in relationship with that sister. I said, I'm close, I'm not worried. Don't worry, I love, I, I will honor you, but I don't just like my dad. I will honor you. 
Run. If she does not honor her parents, she cannot honor you. Don't believe it. Hey, see, these are rules I'm giving to you. The mother is talking to her, she's eating. And she says, Dear, I will be submitted to you for life. Run. Tell your neighbor, run. The problem we have is that we don't know when to run and we don't know when to stay. The problem many sisters have is that they don't know when to say yes, they don't know when to say no. There's a time to say yes, there's a time to say no, there's a time to say wait. Are you there? How they relate with those that are close to them is how they relate with you. Forget about what they are saying. The first husband of every female is the father. Huh? The first wife of every male is the mother. He saw his mother as a witch and he vowed never to see her. And he told you, and you still went on marrying the man. You will soon become a witch. And the day you become a witch is the day the marriage will what? Be end. Don't marry because you are attracted to physical structures. It won't last. She has a fine face. She has a good dress sense. It's not enough. It's not what? She has pink leaves. Is it pink leaves? The Lord will help us. Yeah. Beloved of God, ask yourself, because if I continue to teach on this concept of relationship, we will not live here. There are a lot of issues people are making, a lot of errors they are making. Relationship for you now is a yoke. Ah, okay now. Have you discovered purpose? Your God's will is supposed to be a helpmate. If she comes, if he comes, what is he or she coming to help you to do? You are high do. You have not discovered purpose, but you are trying to discover a sister and a brother. How? And Nollywood is not helping us. Thank God I, I've been freed from that deception. I don't watch those things. Those nonsense I don't watch. A sister will say, brother, in Nollywood, they don't smile. Hmm. The next thing they are married. Don't they smile though? They are married. The next thing they are married and they are giving birth to children. Listen to me. This is another error people make. As a sister, when somebody comes to you for a relationship, don't say yes. Your first response is wait. It's not yes. Even if he is your fellowship president, say wait. If they cannot wait for you, they will waste you. The first thing is wait. Are you there? And as you ask them to wait, tell your fathers in the faith. Tell your mentors about them. Don't keep them to yourself. When it has to do with matters of love, you may not be able to discern correctly because you can be emotional. You're already thinking about the game. Maybe one brother is hyping Tolu now. I said, Tolu, Tolu. <laughs> Well, I told you to visit the brother, I'd be laughing. Brother, what you? Brother, what you? <laughs> Hello? Tell your spiritual father before you give a lesson. 
because you can be emotional and make the wrong choice. They are not emotional because they are not in that relationship with you. So they will tell you the truth. Are you getting what I'm saying? But the issue some of the sisters make used to make is this. Zion will have fallen in love with the boy, with the brother. She will have, the brother will have entered into her heart. She will now say, Hello, Bran, I really want to see you. You want to see me? Okay. What is that? Sir, so there's one, there's one brother. She will not. Do you know this thing I'm saying is real? They will not pretend as if they don't love the person. Like the brother just came. Meanwhile, the brother has already entered there. She now say, See, sir, there's, there's, one, there's one brother. He, he, he just came to me and he was talking about marriage. Why? I asked him to stay with. I asked him to stay, stay with. So, what do you say about it? Then I will now go and discern and say, Zion, that, bro- that brother is not the will of God for your life. She will now rebuild. Suddenly, she will see that father as an evil person. The reason is because she, she has made a mistake from the beginning. You don't fall in love. You don't enter before you tell them. You tell them before you enter. But otherwise, if it is a no, you will not be able to say yes. You will even rebel because you want to marry the person. There are many sisters that have rebelled against their spiritual fathers. They cost of marriage. And now they are there paying, but they can't say it out. Because of shame. That's the mistake a lot of people. How can you enter a relationship and nobody, no spiritually mature person is aware? How did you enter? Were you kidnapped and thrown into the building? And lastly, before, before I leave this session, please take note of this. That I saw you care does not mean I'm asking you to go into a relationship with me. Sisters are not in this world. It's common to brothers, but more common to sisters. Today, Sister Tolu spent fair, Obama. Next Sunday, it just happened coincidentally. The same brother picked it again. Then Tolu will be going to. Ah. I don't even notice how God do this thing. You know. So finally, I've entered into a relationship. Ah. Why did you enter? What I'm saying, is it true? Yeah. He's just showing care. Hello? No matter the show of love, no matter the show of care, until love is confessed, don't begin to build on it. If they don't confess it to you, don't assume it. Otherwise, you will break your heart by yourself. Let me share my experience with you in the next maybe three minutes or four minutes. I enter into this issue. Meanwhile, I used to set boundaries for myself. But I don't know how this one happened. I don't know. Amen. And the sister had loved me so deep. God now helped me one day. Meanwhile, the sister will come to me and say, Sister, uh, sir, there's one brother. As he was saying it, I'm discerning in my spirit. He mean you. <laughs> but I now said, I now said, I now told myself it's not true. It's not true. Until I knew it was The lady is literal. But well, anytime I tell her, I now told her I want to school. The day I knew, I now went to that school. No, because I don't like to have issues with sisters. And she had built the thing. I was not thinking, I, did I confess? But she was building, she was building. She said, I got a lot of confirmation. I, got, I said, confirmation. I hear me. When this is time, you are fine. <laughs> Trying to make the sister ace me smart. Say, me will have small. Clary, I shall not hear me. This is a no. I know what I saw. Ah! I'm not telling, I'm not, I'm not framing things to you. I'm telling you something that happened to real life. I said, I said, I know what I saw. I said, I'm not. He 
Jesus. She stood before me. She stood with anger and said, I know what I saw. I know. <laughs> And this lady can hear God. No? She's a Christian. She has zeal for the things of God. But somehow her heart was manipulated. That brother that ministered powerfully. For, for the fact that the ministration was powerful, does not mean it's your husband, the sisters. Sister Zion is singing with one voice. You are brother dear. You are imagining, Lord, if I could. <laughs> Until they confess love to you, don't assume it. The sister fasted and prayed, told men of God, different people. But God helped me. I did not see her in my vision at any point. God, I want to save my future. So I'm telling you what happened to me. It's practical. And it's not far from, it happened from late last year till this year to see how deep the stars come. Maybe you are here now and you are already assuming what is not existing. That's to be brother should go because the way he's doing to me. Has he confessed to you? Sisters, are you, can you hear me? If they do not come to confess to you, don't assume anyone. Are you getting what I'm saying? I feel some of you may have questions. So let me try to attend to maybe a few questions. Then we we'll begin to round off. I hope you have been blessed. Do we have any questions? Just meditate in one or two minutes. Then if you have a question, maybe a question is popping up in your spirit, you can ask. Meditate and find a question. Yes, just note your question. Please write your question. In a, if you have a question, write your question in a sheet of paper and pass it to the ushers. Please, let me move around. Write your, you don't need to put your name so that you can ask any question. Because if you put your name now, you want to be spiritual. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't trace you with your handwriting. <laughs> Write anything. Don't put your name on. I want you to be free. Please. Pastor, me, please be fast. Other welfare, please. Assist, please. Move around. And... Welfare, you too. If you have questions, write it. We won't trace you. It's, it's all right. Eh, Bukumi, don't worry. We will not trace you. Just... This experience I just narrated affected me. I felt hurt. Because I hate to see people feeling sad. I saw how she was moody. I thought, I'm the reason for this. When did I enter? When? Sometimes I'm going to a church. I want to go and minister. I want to put on my wristwatch. And I'll say, my two wristwatch is my two fine. <laughs> I'm not talking about it has happened. I was invited to minister in a church and I know she'll be there. She's one of the senior escorts. Respected though and she had influence. And she's working in a, in a good place. I was going to our church for menstruation. I want, I, 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 I'm already trying to put on the wristwatch. I just told myself, you see not where the sister is? But two are going to work. Bless the Lord. All right, please, as you collect them, please bring them. Let's start attending to those questions. Please, you can keep writing, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you are done, please give it to them. Car. People are really right, you know, just to look, tell us about the brother now. Brother Sholakme, <laughs> teacher, Abby. Okay. Hello, Fetty, me, please, you read, please read. Mafia, please go around, collect questions, please. Be fast, be fast, we don't have time. Is it right to rather what? Go into friendship instead of relationship. What is friendship? Friendship is relationship now. It's relationship. Okay. 
Are you there? Are you getting what I'm saying? Friendship is what? It's relationship. The only difference is when you now begin to talk of, you know, what is friendship? Friendship is two friends, right? Don't you have a lot of friends? Those friends, you are in friendship with them. That cord between you and your friend is called friendship. It does not necessarily have to do with anything love, romantic, no. If you have a friend, that's friendship. Are you there? The deception we used to have is that you would say, yeah, we just want to be friends. I was telling my people in the morning, in the teenage class, I was telling them, I said, they, they, they will not have this thought. The thought will come to them. I really need a boy, yo. The girl too will say, the girl will say, yes, the boy will say, I need a girl, yo. So they will, now, they will now give one godly reason. So I will just be praying together, we will be doing Bible study together. Um, whatever I can do to help. So friendship is still what? It's relationship. It's not, there's no difference between the two of them. Are you there? See, what I'm saying is this. Don't enter if you are not matured. Are you there? It will lead to something you are not expecting. It will what? It will lead to something you are not expecting. Praise the Lord. I'm very sure that this question we cannot answer all of them. My sister, you are welcome. God bless you. You know what we'll do? Please keep writing your questions. This is what we'll do. Amen. Amen. Hello? This is what we'll do. Listen. How many of you are on our WhatsApp platform? You're on the WhatsApp platform. Okay? Um, hello? Those of you that are not there, listen. Listen to me. The welfare, they are going to type out all the questions on the group and I will answer. Hello? You type it separately. Question one, type it separately so that I will send audio for each of the questions. If there are 10, I will send 10 audios to answer. So those of you that are not on the group, make sure you see um, the, the, the welfare, or, no, the admin before you go so that they can add you to the group. Oh, you have a phone that can access WhatsApp, right? Okay, you have a phone that can access WhatsApp. So don't worry, they will meet with you, they will send the link to you. Are you there? So, so that you can, you join, so you'll be able to listen to the answers. Hmm? The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Please, you are free. Keep writing. We answer. By the grace of God, we will answer all the what? The questions. Hello? Hello, my friend. Mommy is on the group. So you can always check if I've answered through mommy's phone. Praise the Lord. Yes, Ella will help you. You can work with Ella. Hmm? You can check from Ella's phone. Praise the Lord. I want us to quickly do meditation. It's very important in a few minutes. Can we turn our Bible to the book of... Um, Okay, how many of us have, you have a verse, hello, you can still keep writing your questions. It's unlimited, till we share the grace, you are allowed to keep writing. Praise the Lord. Your name is to be alone. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1, please meditate on that and find what the Lord is saying to you. Genesis chapter, chapter 3 verse 1. 